Hi, I'm Dan Elder from Kidasa Software Support. This tutorial covers refreshing from MS Project. What is refreshing? Refreshing is when you get the new dates from your Microsoft Project file. If your dates in Project have changed, you'll need to refresh your Milestones Professional schedule to show those new dates. To refresh your Milestones Professional file, go to the Connections tab. Then choose Refresh Previously Imported Project. If you're refreshing from an MPP file, you'll choose Refresh from MPP file. If your information is on Project Server, you'll need to choose Refresh from Project Server. I'm going to choose Refresh from MPP file, and then I'm going to choose the MPP file that has my new dates, and then I'm going to choose Open. The first choice you'll see on the Refresh screen is Refresh using Unique ID. You'll want to keep this as unique ID unless you have some kind of special circumstance where you're refreshing using some other field in project. Below that, you have the symbol text section. You can choose to refresh your symbol text if you'd like. There are two ways to do that. First, you can update symbols that already have tags. So for instance, if a symbol has the name field of that task, the text would be updated on your milestone schedule if the name field in project was changed. The second method allows you to change what fields are actually on the symbol text. So if you wanted to change which field is on the symbol text, you could update it here. I will go ahead and uncheck Refresh Symbol Text since I don't need to get any updated text from Project. The next section works in the same way except for symbol notes. So if you're using symbol notes on your schedule, you can update them here. On the top right, you've got your percent complete options. The first checkbox will refresh the percent complete of your milestone schedule from whatever field you choose with the drop-down. The second option, Update Individual Bars and Symbols, will create a percent complete override for each symbol and bar on your schedule. This will allow you to have multiple bars on the same row with different percent complete values. There are also some other important additional options listed below. Refresh tagged columns will update any columns and milestones that are linked to an MS Project field. Highlight Change Dates will put an orange box around any dates that got updated in the milestone schedule. A Pin New Tasks allows you to add tasks from the project file as you refresh. You can click Customize to see the options related to that. Now I'm going to press the Refresh button. The Refresh Report will show you which symbols got moved and what dates they got moved to. I'm going to press OK and then go back to Milestones. And you can see an orange box is placed on each symbol that had its date changed. You can turn off the orange box in the Connections tab with the Refresh Highlighting checkbox. Thanks for watching this tutorial about refreshing from Microsoft Project. Please visit our website at kidasa.com and email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Have a nice day!